Hey guys, welcome to Casco Viejo, Panama. So I'm here in Panama for a couple of weeks and I decided to stay in Casco Viejo for a weekend. I've already spent a week in Panama City and during that time I didn't vlog I just wanted to have some time and just get a feel and settle down in the city which I did so this is the first time I'm actually picking up a camera and actually vlogging and um, yeah so this segment is going to just focus on Old Town and next week i'll just vlog panama city separately that'll be a separate vlog but for this vlog it's just casca viejo and you're just gonna come and explore with me first let me show you the airbnb that i am staying in because it's breathtaking so here is the main entrance little hallway love the tiles for the floor and then we have my bedroom Oh, guys like it is so pretty I'm not really sure if this door opens or not I'm gonna contact the Airbnb um, property manager but I don't think so and then we are going to come to the secretly hidden bathroom which took me like five minutes to find when I got here bathroom is so nice and here I am he's in her sinks nice nice and the shower, shower is big, so that's nice. Oh, I love all the details that they've put in this place. Like, look at the tile floors for the bathroom, and then just like this black uh, hook for your towel, or rack, I should say, towel rack. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then, we come down here, we have this nice little nook over here, me again. And then we have the dining room area, living room, kitchen. So it's basically open space concept, which I love. I love the walls, guys. Like this whole place gives, there's so much character. It's like old feel. But here's my favorite part. This is this has to be my favorite part. Okay, okay, the door is a little. Uh, here we go. My balcony, overlooking the square. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So like I mentioned, I've been staying in Panama City uh, my first week that I was here. So I stayed in Panama City from Tuesday to today is Saturday, from Tuesday to Saturday. But I did come here twice, one to eat once to eat and then the other time which was last night i came for an experience for a bar crawl which was so much fun so much fun if you guys come here you have to do the bar crawl that jesse has on airbnb experience i'll leave the link below but you'll have an amazing time and you'll meet amazing people it's just a really good time but um i wanted to stay here for a couple of days and instead of just only staying in Panama City, because Panama City is basically like Miami, honestly. It's like skyscrapers, beautiful skyline views, um, and you're like overlooking the, there's like waterfront that you're overlooking. So, but I wanted to come here and stay here for a couple of days and do ha and actually have the experience of Old Town. So that's what I'm doing here and yeah, so right now I am about to go out and eat because I am hungry, hungry. I didn't eat anything yet. So let's go and find something to eat. Just showing my outfit real quickly. I just have this black tank from, uh, I think I got it like Amazon basic. It's really good. Um, I love the quality of it. And then I have these black linen shorts with my... I don't even know what, like I call it a fanny pack, but it's not, but it's like with this black bag 
I don't know. And um, with my Dior sunglasses, and then I'm just gonna have my, um, what is it called? My black flats on. Well, they're not flats. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. I'm so hungry. But anyways, this is what I'm wearing. It's super basic, but oh my gosh, it is burning outside. Like, you don't want to, during the day here, you don't, you don't care about anything except for comfortability and for you to, like, your body to breathe because it's humid, it's hot. So, yeah, that's, that's the vibe. I know I won't be able to finish it. There's no way. No way. Absolutely no way. I just had my food and now um, the food is really good. But I'll tell you guys about it when I get back to Airbnb. Right now I just want to go get some gelati and I think I saw places so let's go see. If I could find it again, first have ice cream. So I am back at the Airbnb from getting that ice cream. Uh, the place that I well, first, the place that I went to go get food from, the food was really, really good. The pasta, I really liked it. The only thing was I didn't pay attention to what was inside of the um, pasta sauce that they made. And there was meat and there was like sausage. But besides that, that's fine because I don't, I don't eat meat. I only eat seafood. Um, but that was okay. I just kind of ate around the the sausage it was really good i was the only one at the restaurant which was really nice the waiter was really kind he actually like took some photos of me and also took a video of me which you know 
when you're traveling by yourself, you appreciate people who <laughs> helps you capture these moments because there's nobody else to do it. So right now I am getting ready. I, I just I just booked a walking tour for um like historical sites because I do like to know what I'm seeing. So I just found a really good deal on one which is happening in, in an hour and the place where I'm meeting them or the tour guide is actually like five minutes away from here so that is great on timing and i'm getting ready now one thing about um casco viejo is that it's very noisy during the evening because there are these different restaurants who have live music and restaurants with rooftops and my friend did warn me about it she was like you're not gonna get any sleep because she was here last year and she was like it was so noisy but since it's the weekend and i'm only here for three days i don't mind and that'll be fine because i go back to the city i go back to staying in the city after the weekend so i'm okay with that but like literally in the square that i showed you guys earlier they were setting up I think there's gonna be a concert tonight because they started doing mic checks and playing drums. So I already know tonight it's gonna be like team no sleep, <laughs> which is, it's fine. It's okay, because it's the weekend. It's not like I have to wake up early or anything. Unless I decide to book a tour to some blast tomorrow, which I'm not going to because I'm trying to enjoy Old Town as much as I can. So most likely I'll probably do like a food tour or a food market tour, which would be pretty cool. So, so far Old Town Panama is giving me like Cuba vibes, Cuba vibes during the night and a little bit of Europe during the day. I don't know if that makes sense because you have like the the restaurants who have like you know their little outdoor seating and they have like these gorgeous um well that's the thing though right these new buildings that maybe that's why i'm getting the european vibe is because like the newly constructed buildings it's more kind of like towards european buildings like if you went to france or uh like italy like you'll see maybe that's why and then the old constructed or the old buildings that's where i get like the cuban aura hopefully that makes sense if not mm, i'm sorry <laughs> But we are about to go on this walking tour. Oh man. Honestly, the only reason why I'm getting a little dressed is I want some pictures. And I'm sure the people there, or even the guide, he won't mind taking like my picture when we come across like a nice little spot. Can you hear the music? They're definitely about to have like this live concert tonight. Then I'm gonna be here for it. I'm gonna be on my balcony, just watching. As a female, like we bring so much stuff on trips. Like I'm just talking to myself right now. Like I brought so many of my lipsticks and all of this lip color. And I've only been wearing two so far. And every time I'm like, Sasha, why did you bring the other ones when you're not gonna wear the the other ones that you brought and i'm like i don't care i'm just i don't know but i'm like that was so unnecessary of me to pack all of my lip color well not all but like a ton of my lip color knowing i'm not even going to use half of them while i'm here but i guess so here i am i feel like i'm a little bit overdressed but it's like you never know i feel like after the walking tour i'll probably like go somewhere and hang out for a little bit so i just want to be prepared i'm wearing sandals so i think that i should be good and um i have like this long skirt on hopefully i'm not that hot there's no full length mirror here that's fine and I'm gonna bring my brown bag. I was gonna put on my fanny pack, but I've 
been wearing that too much and um i wanted to bring this out tonight so there you go you now that the building was opened in 1920 and belongs to a company known as the american trade developing company you can see the a and the t there from the original owner they have a hotel too yeah, actually, that's oh, one. This is open. Yeah, the American Trade Hotel actually comes borrowing the name from the company using the building that was that company used. When they what is in there? Uh, air from the battle. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, but it's not actually sealed. You see, it's like a 70s and 80s. Actually, you know, the Panamanian government tried to keep how many of the possessions or, or, the, or, the, or the ruins of places, you know, using that. Wall. Oh, the wall was on kind of an angle? Yeah. Okay. Especially in the exterior section. Here you can see it better. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like. And when you know, the land was sold, once the, the wall was demolished, people acquired you know, the land and started using actually sections of the wall. For, of their houses. You can see this line of houses that's what it's built on you know, the protective wall of the city. Mm -hmm. So I'm back from the walking tour and remember that I said there was like this big festival outside of my Airbnb in the square it's huge like there are so many people I think there's like this really well-known artist like Panamanian artist or band that came and it's like lit outside of my Airbnb like in the square like Yo, this is so good. <laughs>
Okay, so it is our second day here and um, it's about like, I think it's 12. It's noon right now. It's going on noon right now, if it's not noon already. Um, I just woke up, well not just woke up, I woke up, took a shower, um, watched service online, and now I'm heading out to go and find something to eat as far as breakfast wise. Um, I haven't, I want a good like Panamanian breakfast, so I googled which restaurant would provide that for me and I found um, this restaurant called Nomada Eatery. So I'm gonna head there and see what I can get to eat. And then after that, I don't have anything planned for the rest of the day, honestly. Um, I was thinking about booking like some type of tour or something, but there's really nothing left except for, um, well, for me to do because I did the bar crawl and then I did a walking tour yesterday, which was amazing again. And I'm gonna touch on that in a bit because I, I was like I didn't even tell you guys like you know what I really learned but um so I did that and then there's like food tours right I wanted I definitely want to do that before I leave but they don't have any available today so I might do it tomorrow I'm not sure depends how I feel um if not I'll do it another day like there's even though I'm going back to the city tomorrow like uber here is like four dollars so uh i'm not gonna stress about that like i'll do that you know maybe next weekend but um i'll try to do it tomorrow to you know to put in this vlog for you guys so we'll see um as far as the tour that i took yesterday i forgot to mention that um this town like you know old town is like really rich in history i mean yeah like we learned about the panama canal in elementary school but like panama is so much more than the panama canal well because of the panama canal a lot of things did go down here so a lot of these buildings that you see in casa Varejo, they're um it gives like the european vibe right it's like european vibe but then the old buildings that are like deteriorating they give me a feel of like cuba so i learned that um during the time where the ca the panama canal was being um you know was in the works of being built and all of that um of course it was the french who said that they can they can construct it and um who actually started i'm sorry who started constructing the panama canal when they came here they saw this town they loved it and they started building you know they started building and so that's why a lot of these buildings give like french european um architect like it looks like you know something that you would the buildings look like something you would see in france as far as how they're they are built and then um also i don't know if i took a snippet of the there are these buildings um when they actually took a career people from the Caribbean to come and work on the Panama Canal. So they started building these Caribbean like houses, right? Um, if I if I have a snip of it, I'll take. And if I walk again, I'll put it in. But so you have that. And then, um, then you have like, you know, the regular, you know, original buildings of, you know, people who lived here in Panama a long long time ago so there's like this like fusion of like architecture within this town which is like really cool and it really makes it really really pretty now as far as the buildings that are deteriorating so apparently um well not apparently but people actually live in some of them and most cases they're older people who don't want to leave and who don't want to sell their their property um because a lot of these buildings that are deteriorating they are being sold and of course they're being sold to like corporations or companies and then they make them hotels and restaurants very like touristy things um so a lot of the ones the older buildings people li live in them and they don't want to be bought out or anything like that or they're waiting for a better deal to to leave um 
So that's very, very, very interesting. And um, yeah, this town is like really beautiful. That is just a bit of that, but I also learned a lot more, um, too much for me to say, but like I said, if you come here, make sure you check out Ariel's Airbnb experience uh, walking tour and it's during sunset. That means that you're not walking like dead of day where it's like burning hot, which is really nice. And um, again, like I mentioned before, he is so knowledgeable, but of course he's Panamanian, right? And he was brought up in this town actually. And he showed us like, the church that he went to where he got communion and where you know he used to get in trouble playing in um some of the churches so it was really nice so with that being said i am going to head out now to go get some breakfast and then walk around see how it is it's very 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 hot so i don't know how much walking around i'm going to do oh and also maybe get another ice cream because there was this other gelati place and the guy was like come get ice cream that was yesterday and i was like i'm sorry i already ate ice cream and then he asked me where i got it from i told him he was like oh come back tomorrow and i was like yes i'll come back tomorrow i promise so i gotta keep my promise you know and just go there today but as far as that we're good, we're good. All right guys, let's go. season right now so I am expecting this but it shouldn't last that long so I got like these snacks because I'm like during the evening time when I actually am just like hanging out in the Airbnb I have a nothing to munch on so I bought these Cheetos and Lay's and then I also got like this little yogurt and water that I already put in the refrigerator but both of all four of them came to four dollars which was like i was so surprised because back in the u.s if i'm getting this this a th big thing of water and also a um what is it a yogurt that's like easily like ten dollars so that was nice right now i'm waiting for the rain to pass and um I just want to go grab some ice cream after it passes. I think, actually, I think it's almost done. But 
after it passes, I'm gonna go grab some ice cream. Um, I don't have any plans for later on. I did meet like a couple of people and I don't know, they might hit me up, I don't know, maybe to, I don't know, do something afterwards. But as for myself, I don't really have anything going on. It is still raining a little bit, but I was like, let me go out before it gets dark to get my ice cream. I was thinking about eating it at the park, but that is a big no right Hello. now. Hello. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get the ice cream. So that was really short. I just went, I got my ice cream and I came back. I got the brownie. Yeah, the vanilla and brownie ice cream. I put it in the refrigerator because I'm gonna eat dinner. Now I actually have some food left over from yesterday from the restaurant. So I'm just gonna eat that. Um, and then, well actually I'm gonna take a shower first. Chill, eat, and watch a movie. And I think that's gonna be like my night for uh, my last night here. Unfortunately, there are no more food tours for tomorrow. Everything is booked. Um, so tomorrow morning before I leave, like I'll try to do something around here. That way I don't, I don't think I'm going to come back to this area anytime soon. Maybe like during my last week, I'll come here for like lunch or something. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. This place, this area is like, Casca Virejo is so pretty. It's like a gem. Um everybody's so nice everyone is so nice like panamanians are one of the friendliest people i've encountered with so wow definitely 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 loving it um so yeah that's about it hey guys so it is my um i guess like I don't want to say last day because I know I'm going to be back here during like, um, not this week, most likely not, but next week I'll probably be back here before I actually go home home. So, but it is my last morning here as far as staying in my Airbnb. Before I, well, I'm going to check out. I'm all packed. Checkout is at um, 11 and it's currently like almost 1030. I was going to ask for an extension like an hour extension but I want to go downstairs to this cafe and just kind of like hang out so I don't want to have like a time limit even if I ask for an hour so I have to like rush and eat and then come back upstairs and get my stuff and go so I rather just like check out and then I'll bring like my luggage downstairs to the cafe it's like right downstairs so I'm gonna do that and like have like a I don't know like a cappuccino or something because I'm not that hungry but I'll just get like something in my system and then my check-in time for my Airbnb in the city is at mm, oh noon which is great so good because usually check-in is at three but it's at noon so I have you know I should be good so let's go downstairs Everything looks so good. Like they have like a lot of great choices here. And there's also if you're here with someone, they have like this brunch and lunch for lovers. Definitely take advantage of that if you're here for $45. So I just got the classic French toast. And also a cappuccino. It looks so good. probably be better when I get to the city since I have plans on cooking but for now this is what we're having 
weekend and I hope you guys enjoyed it I am in the city now and I will be this will be another segment so stay tuned that will be coming out soon and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and if you guys have any questions please hit me up all right bye